Good evening. <clears throat> what I have here today is some auric chloride solution, which is gold in solution. Um, I got about six grams of gold in about 600 milliliters of uh, solution. That's not really a lot considering that that amount of solution could probably hold several ounces. Um, I just figured it was time to, to show the gold drop on some of this. <clears throat> the solution, while it's not warm, is not very chilled. Uh, the air outside is is pretty cool and um, like I said the solution is not chilled and just being room temperature inside the house is has got the uh, flask pretty steamed up on the outside so uh, let me tell you what I have here I have a, um, a coffee filter okay um, put that on top of my flask when I get ready for it. I have, <clears throat> since I have about six grams of gold, I have around 15 grams of sodium metabisulfite. It's uh, SMB. Um, an alternative for this, an alternate source, is Bonide brand stump remover. Uh, the main ingredient for that is sodium bisulfite, and it works pretty much the same way. It uh, it's a colorless um, in solution, but um, it does have a strong sulfur smell, kind of like <clears throat> bad eggs. And what this does is, is it um, the chemistry involved when uh, SMB is dissolved in water, and especially in acids, it creates sulfur dioxide gas. Sulfur dioxide gas will selectively precipitate gold from solution. Now, when I dissolve this in water, I use tap water, uh, but the SMB I have is, is got, it's it, after, I've had it for about a year now, and um, it's got dust and, and some hair, other things in it. So I always strain it, I always filter it through a filter your coffee filter. I don't use the whole filtering setup. I just kind of stuff the filter down in the top of the flask because it's it's not a lot and uh, I don't need to go through all that trouble because I'm just sort of going to just pour this in here a little at a time. Uh, there should be an instantaneous reaction as this pours in. So let's let's see what happens. Okay, that's all of it. <clears throat> now as you can see, the solution went dark before I could get around to doing any steering on it. Now you should stare. The solution will become very dark. This gold has been twice refined. It's been refined. It's been washed. 
it's been redissolved. Every time it's dissolved and precipitated, it leaves impurities behind <clears throat> in the leftover solutions. Now this is a uh, <clears throat> this is pretty clean, pretty clean gold. So it will settle fairly quickly. Um, this camera is not the best in the world, <clears throat> and I don't have the ability to um, pause video feed. I wish I did. Um, getting a better camera is is in the works for me you can see down near the bottom or perhaps you can't let me get around to the light that uh, it's much darker near the bottom than it is up at the top. That's because gold is forming a layer on the bottom of the container. You can see right at the very top, you can see the first half inch or so, or almost an inch, how much clearer the solution is compared to further down <clears throat> the solution will clear from the top down and what this is is the gold settling and it'll settle all the way to the bottom and this solution will be totally clear um, <clears throat> now it may still have a color to it uh, but the uh, the clarity of the liquid uh, will be like glass, you should, you should be able to see through it without any murkiness whatsoever. Um, if you add it the right amount of SMB, you can test this almost immediately afterward, and um, there should be no positive reaction whatsoever. Let me see if I can get a a test on this. Testing is a must. So, how would you know whether you got all the gold out of solution or not? If you if you didn't have a uh, test solution, uh, I make up. Um, a test solution, I, I put it in any any plastic bottle like this that's, uh, that's hard plastic. You can see that it's, it's pretty much clear. Um, the solution is clear. Uh, that's stannous chloride. It's tin, tin metal dissolved in, um, hydrochloric acid. I use 95.5 uh, lead free solder from Lowe's. It's 95% tin, 5% antimony, antimony. And it works just fine. Uh, it leaves a, a black precipitate down in the bottom that's the antimony and the antimony does not dissolve so we're going to take a little sample now 
Now, if I added the right amount of SMB, this test will be negative and there will be no color change. Well, I think that I'm, I can be fairly sure that uh, there's no gold in that solution whatsoever. And because there's no residuals left either, any greens or <clears throat> orange or, or, or brick red, uh, it also does not contain uh, palladium or platinum group metals. So this is a uh, that's a negative for all precious metals. Okay, that means that my solution is barren. Except for the gold that's uh, settling right now. I'm going to take this away from the camera. I'm going to take a look at it out of the camera range. see if I can get this uh, camera off the tripod and I'll try to get a picture of uh, the bottom of this flask before I shut this down because I, I believe that um, most of you would be interested now that I've got to cover this camera with my hand taking it off this tripod so don't worry um, I'm, I'll still be here I just don't want to get this camera damaged at all that's going to help much. Okay, there's a better picture. Okay, you can see the light shining through the, the ring in the middle. That's where I tilted it up and some of the gold powder fell off, away from the ring in the bottom. That dark, dark mass is um, gold powder that fell away from the ring and, and caused it to have that <clears throat> circle so uh, tomorrow I'll um, I'll uh, make another video showing the same powder as I dry it and uh, cast it into a button So we'll get a we'll get a lot better look at it tomorrow um, after it's back into a, a metal form.
See how it's lightening up? That's the uh, that's the gold settling out, settling to the bottom. Um, I really can't. I don't. I mean, I I have the battery life to sit here and just and let it uh, go until the powder uh, all settles out. But it would be a pretty boring video, much like watching paint dry, I guess. So uh, let's not do that. Instead, like I said, I'll, I'll pick it up tomorrow when uh, when this powder has settled. I'll, I'll show it drying. Then I'll, I'll melt it with uh, with my oxyacetylene torch over here. Pour it in the mold. We'll see what our uh, gold button looks like. 